Hi girls, it's just Effie here. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. I've been busy, as you know, as you can actually see. It's in we now new house. So that's just a bit of it there. I'm just busy cleaning at the moment. So I thought I'd make a quick update video while I had a chance by myself. Not around the parents, not around my husband. I've sent him out to go and buy a mop bucket that I really wanted. So I thought I'd update you on what's happened. Um, AF started on the 13th of September, so my injections for Gonoex started on the 14th of September, my birthday, so I thought that was going to be a good luck charm. Um, at the first blood test, no, it was scan, no, blood tests were fine. At the first scan that I had, there were only, I think there was one follicle on the right side and two on the left side. I know I said in the other, not in my video, I think, oh no, it was the other video, I said that there were more, but um, the nurse, it's actually dimension of each one, those 1A, one 1B, one which I didn't know about, she let me believe that it was more follicles, so that's fair enough, anyhow, from that scan, they increased my bono F from 125 to 200, and I was having the Galatran as well, and oh, now I've got to think of the dates. I can't remember the dates. 24, 26, 27, 28. Yeah, so on the 26th, I went back for another scan. I think that's right, if I'm wrong. Could be wrong. Might not be wrong. I don't think I'm wrong. Anyhow, I went for another scan, and they said that would be alright for egg retrieval on the Wednesday, which would have been the 28th. But then I caught a call from Professor Ellingworth during my lunch break saying that the blood tests weren't that good. The progesterone levels had shot straight up and that he was going to give me two options. I could still go ahead with egg retrieval on the Wednesday and would have to freeze the embryos that were going to, well, the ones which turned into embryos. We were going to have to freeze until my body was ready or it's just best to cancel the cycle. Um, he suggested the latter because it didn't cost us anything in the end. I still haven't heard from them to see if it cost anything. And when we went back to him the week, that weekend we went back to him, which would have been the first. He said, um, I am able to start my cycle in two cycles. So I have AF and then the AF after that, we start the IVF cycle again, which was due to be late November. But however, I am... Um, had, sorry, like I haven't talked in ages on here, I had um, an acupuncture appointment, as you know I've been going to acupuncture, had my acupuncture appointment on the 30th of September and she was going to get my body ready to ovulate, so to speak, she said that, the, you know, just have a go at it, you never know, it might happen naturally. For that cycle, unfortunately, I got AF that night. Didn't think it was AF, so it ended up being AF. It lasted for eight days. Um, the acupuncturist said because of the acupuncture, it wouldn't have clotted up or anything like I was told it was going to be. I was told it was going to cramp and everything. So currently, I'm on cycle day 14, and I just got my ovulation tests. I will go and get them. just ordered some more off the internet because um, I got ones from the chemist and they cost me $25 for seven pack. So um, I've still got them. I haven't used all of them. They haven't brought up that I've ovulated as yet. No positive OPK. So they, they're on Facebook. Fertility to family. I've used them before. They're the ones I was actually using before the ovulation test, however I gave them away because I didn't think I'd need them. So I think I got 10. So I've got pregnancy tests here, hold on. Five pregnancy tests and 10 ovulation tests and it cost me $4.55. So they came today, they were actually in this mail. <laughs> like we came today to the new house and it was here. So um. 
yeah, that's all that's happening with me at the moment. Acupuncture at the moment is going really good. I'm going currently once a week, so I'm just following whatever she's saying. The blood type diet has also been going good. It is, it is hard because you can't eat meat, you can't have that much dairy. There's lots of no's on the list, but there's also lots of yeses. I've started eating like prunes and figs and stuff that I've never touched before. So that is a good thing, and I've noticed that my body has gotten better. The bloating has gone down. So the bloating is a lot better than what it was before. So I think that just there is fat. So hopefully that will go down. But um, I weighed myself the other day just that um. Walrus that had scales there, mango scales, and it said 59 kilos. So um, it looks like I'm back to what I was just before I started the injections, which is awesome. Um, yeah, that's all there is to say because nothing else has happened apart from this house stuff. So yeah, I am really looking forward to my IVF cycle. I hope it happens soon. Yeah, like what I mean, you know, I'm gonna try naturally this month, as you know. So um, you know, fingers crossed. I mean, it's only one tube. The chances of it happening are very, very low. I understand that, but can't blame me for trying, right? So um, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will talk to you all later. Ciao.